How's it going guys? RNG Life here and today we got some exclusive first looks at the new 5D's world that's going to be coming out to Duel Links. Uh, so we actually have a promotional video from the new V-Jump and that would be the new Tokyo Game Show 2018. Uh, so they had a, a thing where they covered all this and we're going to take a look at this. Look how amazing this looks. Uh, basically saying 2016 we had normal Yu-Gi-Oh! 2017 we had uh, GX and now 2018 is the year for card games on motorcycles. There it is. Look how hype this is. Look how awesome this is. Um, by the way, I'm a little bit sick, so if, if I sound weird, just disregard. Look how cool this is. Look how cool this is. I think we're gonna get an English version, but this is just a first look at the new trailer. Alright, so I'm hyped for this. I don't know about you guys, but we are getting it on the 25th. Uh, so, as you can hear, there's Japanese voices, because it's pretty much original content, completely ripped off from the thing, from the game show, dude. But, uh, but don't, don't copyright me, uh, YouTube in general, dude. Don't copyright strike me. Uh, so, here it's going to cover all the characters that we're going to be getting. Uh, but they are by their Japanese names, so whatever. Uh, so we got Crow right now. Uh, it looks like he is going to have some decent cards. We have Akiza right now. Uh, she's really known for being a really waifu. Uh, we got... Uh, is, uh, isn't it Leo? I think in, in English his name is Leo. I, I didn't watch 5D, so I haven't caught up. And here we got Luna, English version name. Uh, we got Jack Atlas, of course, with that red dragon arch theme. Uh, so here they're showing off an animation. Look at this. Look how awesome this looks. Look at this. There it is. Stardust. We knew we were getting Stardust, but it's just how were we going to get them? That's, that was the only thing. And there's the list of animations, our little side by side animations. Look at this. Just gameplay. Look how awesome this looks. Uh, we also got a first look at what 5D's world was going to look like. But uh, yeah, there's a few cards, new, the new cards at least. Look how cool this is, dude. Is this going to be an original animation for the game though? That's what I want to know. Because it's, it's, you know how an older 5, not the 5 well, you know, you know, like some PSP games, when certain boss monsters would attack, they would have an attack animation. It looked like you were doing, we were doing that. But uh, there it is. That's pretty much that. All right, and here it is looking like they're showing off what rewards you're gonna be getting in celebration of 5Ds. As for that, we're actually gonna be getting a UR Dream ticket, which are pretty much the best kind of tickets that we can get because it's gonna say you can pick any UR card from any set up to a certain point. So if if this is the case, then maybe it's gonna be easier for some of you guys to get those uh, URs you want from like some of the older sets. So this is what I'm saying that we should actually play and rank for the UR Dream ticket. Uh, that Gems and a copy of Junk Warrior. And now for the moment you've been waiting for, let's get started with those duels. Which is Yusei versus Crow. Alright, here it is. Alright, so we're gonna be seeing and obviously the you do hear the Japanese voices in the background. Uh, that is cool because it's actually from the it's, it's some it's live gameplay, dude. So uh, we're gonna see what decks they're using, how they're gonna show off uh, Synchros. Uh, let's see if they actually do pull off all these crazy synchro plays. Because uh, you know, in, in the TCG, you can pull off crazy chains uh, of all these cards. So, right now, it's in a set. And I also did cut this down so, to keep it interesting and, and cut out all the all the talk and stuff. So, right now, it's going to set two. He's passing. All right, so now it's Crow's turn. Crow's going to draw. Uh, what do you got, Crow? Is he going to summon anything and just attack? Oh, but he's got Black Wing. Uh, what was that card called? Black Whirlwind. Black Whirlwind is actually a really, really good card. If that is at three, Black Wings are going to be pretty good because that one is basically whenever you summon something, you can add something weaker to your hand. Another Black Wing. So, 1700, he can add anything under 1700 to his hand, which is really good because Black Wings have a lot of like uh, hand traps and stuff. They have a, what was it, Kalut and some other stuff. Uh, he didn't add Gale right now, so it, since he did not add Gale, I'm questioning whether or not Gale's in the game. Uh, if you guys don't know, Gale, the Whirlwind or whatever, it's it's a really, really busted card. I think it was banned at some point. Uh, but he's, Yusei is just showing off some uh, 
defense draw, I believe that's what that card call is called. It's just a simple little thing. I, I honestly thought he was going to go Scrap Iron Scarecrow, but uh, he didn't. All right, so he's setting. Um, anything you say, come on, you say you got to pull something off here. Uh, he's going to summon. There it is. We got that Junk Synchron. You guys don't know what Junk Synchron can do. He's basically the tuner in the deck. You get to summon him. You get special summon him, I believe. Um, card is on the screen right now. But he's got this other card. Uh, I, forget, I forget what it's called. I think it's Synchro Boost or something. Uh, it powers up your monster by 500 and a level. You know he's going to Synchro. He's got eight on board. And this is our first time seeing possibly Stardust. So let's see if he can pull off that Stardust. There it is. That's what Synchro's gonna look like. It's pretty cool, to be honest. Look at that. Alright. Interesting. So there's Stardust, and there's the animation. Alright, we're gonna get to see the Stardust animation. Oh, look at that. Everyone's as surprised as I am, dude. Look at, look at him in the back. Oh my goodness. Look at this. There it is. That's a thumbnail right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, ooh, look at that Stardust, Ow, yeah, I think your Bora the Spear is going to get wrecked, uh, so attack it, and Bora the Spear, it is it is a really, really good um, Black Wing, by the way, uh, it deals piercing, I believe, and I don't remember 100% of what it does, but it's a really good Black Wing target, but he's activating something, uh, Black Revenge, I am not 100% sure what card that is, but I think that summons two tuners, Let's see, tuner, and a tuner, and they're level 2, 800 defense, so technically you can't use them for battle, but since it is his turn now, uh, I think it's when your monster gets destroyed, you get to summon two tuners, uh, black feather tuners, black wing tuners, uh, so now he's going to summon, what is it, a tuner? Hey, I think that is a tuner, that's uh, the shield guy, I forget his name, I, I don't know all the black wings names, I did play them for a while though, uh, but is he going to synchro right now, yes he is, He's going to go for, what is it, maybe armed? Level 6, right? 246. Uh, so he's going to go for armed wing? Let's see. Synchro Shokan. Alright, so, ooh, he's going for that. That animation looks pretty legit. It looks way better than Fusion, I gotta say that. So, there it is, yeah, armed wing. Or, arms wing. Yeah, in Japanese apparently it's arms wing, and it's also uncensored. Uh, so you have him with his actual like musket or whatever. So uh, is that all you can do, Crow? I mean, he summoned arm armored wing, and he said it. Okay, dude. The thing is, when they're showing off these decks, I think they're not using a lot of meta cards. So if, if they had like a wall of D or something, a mirror wall in the background. Oh, I spoke too soon. Look at him. He's using parallel twister, dude. So that lets him destroy his monster. Bam, get wrecked. Um, is that it? So, he had nothing there. Is he going to chain or something? Oh, he, the card he sent away, I didn't read it, but he gets to summon Speed Warrior. Okay, cool. That's got to be game, dude. 25 and 9, that's got to be game. So, attack the 9. No card, anything. Dude, a wall of D would have just wrecked Yusei right now. It really would have. So, Stardust coming into the game. I think, there it is, that's, that's the GG right there. And, and that's what it looks like when you beat Crow. So I think Stardust is pretty good, and, and Stardust is good because it stops destruction. So it completely answers um, Treacherous. Uh, if, if we are able to actually splash Stardust in multiple extra decks, and actually go into them in any deck, then it is definitely an answer to, to Treach. Alright, but there's one. We got two games now. We got the second game going. Alright, so let's see what is up on this game. Uh, so, this one they just started at halfway. Or not halfway, but we didn't get to see who's going first or second. Uh, but I think it's Crow going first. I'm not sure. Alright, yeah. Crow's going first on this one. So, you say he's getting the draw. He's set. Is that it? Set and pass? Set pass. Alright. So, Crow's setting and passing. Normally, in Duel Links, that would be a pretty weak play. Uh, but you say he's got something for us. What does he got? Ooh, what is this guy's name? I put I put in the card up right here. I, I don't know it right at the moment. Um, but let's see. What do you? What else do you got besides that? Oh, Junk Synchron. Okay, you know, every time you see Junk Synchron, you know he's going to go into some, like, possibly Stardust plays. 
Um, so there's that. What else? There's this guy who I just do not know the name at the moment. Uh, but I know it's a junk monster. I just don't remember the name. But I'm pretty sure it can be special summoned or something. And of course, showing off that same card. Uh, what is that? Synchro boost? Synchro something? Uh, it, it's like I said before. It powers him up by 500 and gives him an extra level. Is he going? Yeah, that's a 4 and a 4. You know he's going Stardust. You know he's going Stardust. I thought he would go into Junk Synchro. Uh, uh, junk, junk uh, what's his name, dude? Junk Warrior, dude. I was, I was confusing it. But there he goes. Is it another Stardust? Yes, it is. Alright. I mean, I don't think early game we're going to be getting, like, Stardust Spark or anything. It's, it's, that's a little bit too busted. Uh, but right now, we got that Stardust coming out again. Oh, man. Look at that. All right, so Crow could turn this around. Uh, I, I think what he would need to do is, if he if you're going straight up on just power, he might need um, to go for one of his synchros. Oh, that's what's his name? Uh, from the new one, isn't he? Is he one of the new Black Wings? Um, something, the Dust or something. Uh, obviously, car is on the screen, so you guys can see the name of it. But uh, interesting. So, what do you got now, Crow? Are you gonna be able to? Oh, the setting. Tuner monster. All right, what what tuner are you summoning? Do Gale would just completely wreck. Okay, Blizzard. Uh, Blizzard can revive from the grave, so you're gonna get the other guy. And the other guy, when it comes out, it can double another monster's level, I believe. So it could make Blizzard level four if it's a level two. Yeah, it is level two. So there it is, level four now. Because it's an alter. Oh, and he can make himself. Okay, so I thought he would like clone uh, Blizzard, but no, he's cloning himself. He's going for a level six. So, I think that's, um, Armed Wing again? Is that, is that the only boss monster we, we got for Crow? It's, so, that's a little bit sad. That's a little bit sad. I don't know 100% Armed Wing's effect, but I'm pretty sure it's one of your go-to. Uh, so it'd be cool if you can find a way to make, make this, um, uh, make use of this guy. But, right now, he's got this guy. I mean, you could attack the 900. That's, that's a play. That's a play. Yeah, battle. All right, Armed Wing, attack the 900, Speed Warrior, rip. So there goes that guy. It's not Speed Warrior. I, what was that guy? I, I don't remember his name. Uh, but card is on the screen for you guys to see it. But uh, Let's see. So now it's looking like Stardust can pretty much just wreck this guy. Unless he's got some crazy plays where he destroys it with, with a card effect or something. Nope, just battle. All right, so he's going to battle it and deal 200. Not bad. He's going to have to have something. Uh, at least that, that card that gives him tokens or something. Uh, oh, it is. All right, he's doing it. All right, so he's doing this. He's going to get some tokens on board, which is cool. So now all he needs to do is summon a uh, tuner. If he summons a tuner, he can go into a level four, seven, maybe uh, six again. I don't know. He's only got two more cards in his extra deck. So, oh, what is it? El Elf, Elfin, Elfin, Elf, what is that guy's name? Um, yeah, that guy. Doesn't he switch him to defense? Oh, get wrecked, Stardust. Dude, he's actually beating over Stardust. He didn't even need the tuners. They have zero attack, so you can't even really attack with them either way. Uh, but take that. Oh, GG, Stardust, get wrecked. All right, let's see if Yusei can bounce back. I mean, I honestly want to play... You say deck, but I want to play assault mode. I really do. So Speed Warrior is here. I think he can double his attack for the turn. I think that's all he can do. I, I, Speed Warrior is terrible, to be 100% honest. He, he's really bad. Uh, but you got to show off the new cards. So they have to. They were probably very limited when making these decks. So you can just attack. Uh, I don't see why you would use this effect. Just kill it. It's 800 defense. What are you doing, You say, Are you going to actually activate his effect? He is. Uh, I think it automatically activates whenever you battle. I'm not 100% sure. But there it is. He took out one of the things. But that was actually a really dumb move. He should have just set and passed. Because now he has an open slot. He can go for a synchro play now. If he really wants to. Because he's, his board's not clogged. Uh, if he didn't attack. All, he, all Crow would have is a 22 attack. Uh, once per turn. And his board would be clogged. But there he goes for Blizzard. Blizzard can't summon from the grave. But he's going for a synchro play. What is that? An 8? Because I think. What's his name? Is a 6. So. He's going for the boss monster? No way, dude. All right. All right. There's two. And there's this guy who's a six. Oh, my goodness. We're going for a level eight synchro. He's got it. Black winged dragon, dude. Now, black winged dragon is the card I talked about. There's the animation. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks amazing, dude. 
the Black Feathers, because that's the name of the Japanese archetype. Uh, but there it is. Uh, thumbnail. <laughs> All right, so that looks pretty good. So now we got this guy out. 28. I'm pretty sure if he finds a way to summon, um, he can completely wreck. And there it is. What is? How strong is it? How, how strong is this guy? 800. I think that's game, to be honest. Cause that's like what 16, 17 damage, 19, and 800. Oh, almost. It was like almost perfect, but it's still game. So GG, you say. Not bad. And that pretty much concludes the first duels of 5Ds and Synchros. So I think that's pretty much it. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Duel Link shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day, and see you guys.